Hello everyone, I'm Curtis Watson and I'm back in a new video. Today I'm playing something far different than Halo or Star Wars Battlefront. I'm playing an older computer game called Spore. If you're a fan of The Sims, it's by the company that originally made SimCity and thus invented The Sims. Uh, I'm going to, it's a game about um, creating a creature, literally just a creature that you evolve from a lowly single cell organism into a space empire king or anything like that. Choose this, how your creature evolves and that is what I will be doing. So I've got a few worlds that I liked here and I've got other games that I'd like to uh, kind of steer clear of. So actually I was thinking this one right here might be good to start off this gameplay series on. So I'm going to start from the very beginning, the cell stage. Um, we're going to start as like a meteor hitting a planet and that's going to introduce life onto our lovely world. Uh, what are we going to be, herbivores or carnivores? Hmm. You know, I usually take the carnivore approach. I'm going to go herbivore this time. Okay. I never get a theme option here, so I'm just going to skip that. Uh, hard. I'm going to go hard. Normally I go easy, but I want this to be somewhat challenging. Uh, Belto. Um, hmm. Is that what we want our planet to be named? I'm going to randomize it a few times. Let's see, it's the 12th of October. I'm going to click 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Alright, I guess we are Planet Adrius now. Welcome to Planet Adrius, everyone. And our little creature has emerged from his meteorite. So uh, we're just a lowly little herbivorous cell. So <laughs> the main stage of, or main objective of this stage of the game is to move around, collect these little green uh, cells, if you're a herbivore. They're plant cells. You eat them, and you gain DNA points, as you can see in the corner right there. Oh, oh goodness, oh my, I wasn't looking, ow! That is a rather large carnivorous cell. If we click on him, what's his name? His name is Goldie. Oh, turn around again! No! Already, life is difficult for our little creature. He's already been eaten once. But, uh... Oh, no, there he is again! Run for it! Oh! We only have one little flagella arm. We can't move that fast. Hey, who's this guy? He's a minnow. Get away from my plant cells, minnow. No, no, no. Don't you dare eat that. You little. If I become a carnivore, he's first on my list. Oh, there's another minnow. I'm going to beat him to this one. Oh, and there's another one. The, the bar at the bottom, that blue bar, you just have to eat until the green bar reaches the first... Oh, shoot. The first little icon there. That's your next stage of evolution. You see how I'm slowly growing? I'm almost too big to fit in that uh, Goldie's mouth, but ow! Oh, clearly he begs a different. Ah. Okay. Our little creature is far from uh, the apex predator of this environment. But uh, on the bright side, you don't lose any uh, DNA, which is like points, currency in this. Oh, hey, look, he grew big. So I guess it wasn't the, um... Yeah, I guess it's 
a little more incremental than I described. There we go. Maybe we grew a bit. Oh, who's this guy? He's a pokey. And you notice we're just as big as the goldies now. Oh, but he still wants to eat us. I'm just gonna outswim him. Just wait until we're big enough to eat him. I'm not saying we will, but. Oh, and now a new icon has appeared. That is a call mate button. So now we can call for a friend. This is the uh, cellular equivalent of a booty call. We'll do a little dance. And we have a new egg for ourselves. Um, and this will take you into the creature editor where using um, DNA points you've collected and parts you've discovered in the world, you can edit your creature to look however you want him to look, or her, it. Uh, we're herbivore, we have sight, that's good. Uh, no attacks and only one speed, so... We can actually duplicate our little flagella movers for free, which is good. I'm gonna... Hmm, I don't know what I want to do with these. I kind of want to give them a big head to sit these on. And a tiny little mouth. Oops. I did say big head. There we go. Big head. And then... <laughs> Looks kind of ridiculous already. Uh, I'm going to add another set of flagella to him. Maybe we can do double it again. Yeah, there we go. He's looking a little faster now. That should help us outrun predators. And then we can take him into the paint booth. Oddly enough, it's uh, skin color, not paint. Uh, we'll just try out some of these. I don't know what this one is. Wow, it, oh. Well, that's kind of a nice sky blue. Oh, it's one of these red ones. Well, that looks snazzy. Looks like he's going out for a night in the town. Hmm, that one's interesting. What about this one? Hmm, I'm not a fan of that one. I, I guess I'm kind of biased toward the color blue, but I really like that one. Uh, yeah, I think that'll work. What should we name him? I think we need to generate another name. Uh. Okay, bear with me here, but G is the seventh letter of the alphabet, so I will click the seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where are Makops? Makops! Don't know what to make of that. He's a... But yeah, that, that's our creature for now. Still an herbivore, but a little faster. This is how our creature evolves. So we'll just save and exit, and when we emerge from our little egg, we will be fully evolved. Well, not fully, but to what we've created now. Ooh. And we've grown again. Oh, who's that? Chomper. He doesn't look nice. Shyster. Oh, oh my, so many. There's a lot of him. A lot of strange and deadly creatures here. I click on a few of them and we'll have them for future reference. These, uh, shysters. Oh, sounds like a certain German word I know. Rather derogatory one. Oh, spike shyster. Oh dear, he's coming after me. He wants my blood. He's got spikes on the front of him. I feel like I was supposed to say something a moment ago, but I've forgotten what. Hey, you stay away from that plant bit, shyster. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. So yeah, there's really nothing to this whole uh, cell stage except eat, grow, reproduce. Uh, I don't. I just kind of swim around a bit, eat more plants. And then I will, uh... Uh-oh. That guy looks mad. Uh, anyways, I was saying... Why aren't I moving? Why aren't I moving? Not good. 
Okay, I'm sort of escaping. Not much, but sort of. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll... Oh, if I don't get eaten, I'll pick this up when it gets interesting again. Okay, give me just one second. Here. Giant plant. Stop eating me. I want this plant. No, I'm getting mauled. Get all the plants. This is a vegan's paradise. They're on the boards, and they are just sucking the blood out of everything they can find. Oh wow! Look at the size of that monster. Jawhead. Ow! Oh god! I'm getting spiked and eaten. And things aren't looking good for a little. What was our creature's name again? Mock Mockos. Mac Post Post Mac Mac and Cheese. Ah! Okay, I you may have missed it there, but if you didn't, I collected a. A meteor fragment which contained a cell part. Looks like a spike if I actually looked at it right. But, uh. Oh, duck. Ah, oh, he's eating me! Ow! Oh! Anywho. Let's, uh. God, stop eating me! He's gonna eat me again. Ah! He sucked out all my guts. He's just. He's just. Hmm. That's, uh, not, not cool. Alright, but we got more DNA, and we got a, at least one more part, so let's go meet up with our friend. And then we'll see about evolving another time. Mockoffs. That was the name of the creature. Alright, so we got uh, spikes now. I think I want to ditch the uh, stalk eyes. Go for a big pair of beady eyes on him. Maybe some in the back and one in the front. There, that ought to increase our vision quite nicely. And then we'll put some side or spikes on the sides. I was about to say sides and the spikes, but oh, and uh, oh, we could even make them bigger. How do you like me now? Uh, I wish we could make uh, another, put another set of flagella on or flagellum. I forget the scientific term now. But there's our creature. Isn't he lovely? Looks kind of like an early squid. Okay, that's a uh, mock ops for now. Save and exit. Another evolution. Let's test out our spikes on this. Uh... Ow! Didn't work. Hey, we hit him. Ow! But he hit us back. Ah! Okay, we fought well. We fought well. No one can say that we didn't try to resist. System's not perfect, but, I mean, we did survive longer than we normally would have. I, you know, I see all these animal cells, but no, uh, frickin' plant cells. I think it's time to evolve. Oh, goodness. Oh, I'm grabbing that. A jet. That's, uh, speedier for us. Okay, I'm gonna evolve again. I'm gonna make us a meteor. Alright, gonna get rid of his mouth. Stick a jaw on there. He eats meat now. Ooh, he looks mean too. Move one flagella. Oh, I don't have enough for the jet. I'll just take that off then. And add two jets onto him. Now he's like a little microscopic fighter jet. That's kinda cool. I'm gonna make his my, my mouths very big. He looks menacing, doesn't he? Alright, that's Macops' next evolutionary stage. Oh, shoot, I could have put two more spikes on him. Oh, well. But now, no one can mess with me. Knock on wood. Well, hello. Hello, big guy. Oh, we're hurting him, we're hurting him! Let's kill him. Let's kill him and eat him. I'm getting him. I'm gonna kill him. Yes, I got him. Ah, this proves my point. I can bully the big cells now. Hey, come here, little squirt. I ate him. I ate him. 
Oh, we're fighting this guy again. Ow. Ow. Ah, darn it. Okay, that was just poor maneuvering. I just swam right into his spikes, didn't I? <sighs> okay. We have like six more shell parts, or cell parts. I cannot talk, but can I ever? If unlock six more parts. Come here, come here, come here, Speedy. Speedy, whatever your name is. Come on, chomp him, chomp him, chomp him. Oh, good. Six cell parts unlocked. Let's see if we can't find another. Oh! 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 Oh, I got these guys chasing me like crazy. Ow! Oh, this big guy's got a poison sack on him. I'm swimming right into the spikes. Alright. Yep! And I died. I got mauled and I got spiked. And I just did poorly. Hello, white eyes. Yum, munch. I'm, a, eh. I'm so big now. Who is this guy? Needle buzzing. Interesting name. Ah! Okay. I could have done better on that. See if we can find one of those big pink ones to eat. I want to eat one of those big pink ones. Hey, I ate this guy. Ow! Okay, okay, you can have the meat. Ow, I got zapped again. This is dangerous territory. Dangerous territory! Mega Mouth. Oh, Lord. Hey, little guy. Didn't you try to eat me at one point? That's what I thought. Oh, hey, there's another Mac Ops. Oh, he just got zapped. I'm sorry about that. Oh! Oh! What happened? Did I get poisoned? That big pink one has like poison sacks. I think I did, I think I inhaled some poison on accident. That was the equivalent of running behind a car with very big exhaust and just breathing it up. And that was the equivalent of standing in front of a truck barreling toward you. Oh, I miss plants. Plants never tried to hurt me. I will eat one of those pink guys. I refuse to continue this existence without eating one. Look at all the meat. So much meat. Oh, now I can eat this guy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not so tough now, are you, Panky? Oh, I think it's cold. Oh, what is this? Turn around, what was that? What is he? He's a junior. Who's this big guy? He's a snorf. Just butting heads here. 
Come on, pal. Oh, lordy, have mercy. Oh, lord, oh, lord. Oh, I got eaten again. But hey, I think I found the guy with the last part we need, maybe. I'm gonna get murdered by juniors here. Ah! I got murdered by juniors. Dang it, junior. Ah, run! Use your jets, fool! Oh, Paul. Get out! Hey, Mega Mouth, eat that. Ah! Ah! Ow! Run! Darn it! Oh, that didn't sound good. Oh, damn it. That would be a great time to grow big. No, not happening. Oh, hello, squid face. Let's attack this big guy. Because we can. He's not going for it. Oh, man, I'm big now. Ow! Oh, man. Just when I think I'm out, it pulls me back in. Ah! Darn it. Oh, and I guess I can introduce this now. History. It shows... Oh, good lord. Mac Ops died ten times. It shows uh, how you progressed so far. This is... We're in the fourth generation of Mac Ops here. It's been 200,000 years since we landed on this planet. And that's how much we've evolved. Specific... Uh, what's this? Evolution clock? I'm not sure... It says 2,900,000,000 years. We'll see how, uh, I don't actually know how that works. I've, I've played Spore so long, but I still don't know how that works. We'll see how that progresses as time goes, and we will, uh, keep a close eye on that. Remember, 2.9 billion years. Now I'm getting mauled again by juniors! Oh, but now I can eat them. <laughs> oh, Flodo. Oh my goodness, so many things to eat! Also, so many things that can eat me! We're missing one cell part, I don't know what it is. But, if we go to my collections... Uh, yeah, we're, we're just missing this one. There's the proboscis, the omnivore mouth part, the electric sac, the poison sac. I forget what this one is. Oh, I think I know what it is. It's, uh... Like a flagella, but more of a fin shape than a whip appearance. I don't know if any... Oh, this guy has it. I need to... Ah, I got eaten! Alright. Ow, oh, come on, juniors. When are you gonna learn? I got to find one of the big green guys to eat. Or at least kill. Don't have to eat him, just have to kill him. Sounds very irresponsible from a hunter standpoint. Hello. Ow, Junior! Junior! I'm gonna eat you. Oh, oh no, this. Oh, everybody wants a bite of me. Everyone's eating everyone else. Yum. Oh, there he is. Come on, Greeny. Where are you? He's a blowdo, that's what he's called. Ow! All the juniors trying to eat me. Oh, but I hate the red. Ow! I think I need to grow a little bit bigger if I'm gonna take on Blodo. Come here, Junior. Oh, Blodo's eating me, Blodo's eating me. Ow! 
Ah, darn it. Alright. I have a new evolutionary idea. You thought I was going to say revolutionary idea, didn't you? Alright, we got all this fancy new stuff, so uh, I figure why not put it to use. We'll keep the spikes. But we'll also grab an electric sack. Stick it there between our jets. Oh man, I wanted the poison one too. We'll get rid of an eye. No. Hmm. 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 Darn it, we're ten short. Oh no. Oh no, we can put the poison one on now. I was looking at the wrong one the whole time. Just stick that on either side of our electric thing. Actually, you know what? I, I want two electric things and only one poison. Ooh, put it right next to our mouth. That makes it look menacing, right? Alright, that's the new Mac Ops. Let's see you mess with me now. Oh, we're hurting Lord. Come on. Get that big guy. Oh, he's scared. Look at him. His eyes are all wide. We're getting him. We're taking him down. Come on, Blodo. Coming for you. We're just as fast as he is now. One more good hit ought to do it. Yes! Got him! It's a cilia. That's what that's called. Cilia. But hey, we collected all the cell parts. Now we just have to eat our way to full evolution. Zap. Take that, Junior. Let's eat this bloater. Can we... No, we can't eat that bloater. Yum, yum, yum. Zappy zap and then chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh, what's this? A brain! We have a brain! Congratulations, you're on the path to sentience. Sweet, we've evolved. So, uh, yeah, we have all the cell parts. We have all of them, including the cilia. We've done everything there is to do in the cell stage. Let's kill this guy. Ow. Okay, I guess we're done. But now that we've fully evolved by a progress bar, you can see, we can hit the button again. It only took five generations for us to evolve this far. And we've ended up as an omnivore, which means in the creature stage, the next one coming up, oh look, it's been uh, 3 billion, 600 million years. It keeps going. And if you notice, it, yeah, it took, um, that 100,000 million, uh, little over, no, exactly 1.8 billion years for five generations to mature. So that's fascinating in my opinion. But anyway, I was getting, I'm getting off track. I always do that. So we're omnivores from our path. If we uh, back up, you can... How do I back up? Oh, here. If we back up, you can see we started out herbivorous, and our uh, tree went toward the herbivore side. But as we grew uh, jaws and consumed more meat, we became more omnivorous. Which we should have been carnivorous, but... I mean... Mm, progress. It's strange. But anyway, I'm getting off track again. In the creature stage, the next one, we get a summon flock ability that helps us summon a flock of minions to help you socialize or fight. So, uh, we get the posse up on land. In the tribal stage, the third stage, we get the ability to, uh, 
Summon a serpent to scare fish from the sea. I like that. A static bomb in civilization temporarily immobilizes vehicles, turrets, and buildings. And uh, in the space stage, Gentle Generalist gives you a discount on all standard equipment. I, I kind of like that. So uh, that seems good to me. It only took 3.6 billion years to get here. So uh, let's evolve. Aluminum cell. Complete cell stage on hard setting. Achievement unlocked. That's awesome. So our little cell swimming up to the land. And this is the new creature editor. This is what we'll be using from now on. Much more three-dimensional than uh, the last one. And then we really just have to add some legs to them. Uh, because of our cell parts, we still have sight. We have a little bit of speed or sprint. When we add legs, I don't go up there. We have a mating call. Interesting. And because of our poison and electric sacks, we have a, a spit poison ability, a charge ability, and a bite ability, of course. We have a sing ability to befriend creatures. Interesting. And we have a charm. How's that go? Oh, our little electric uh, sacks are like, um, like fireworks displays. You know, I kind of like this guy the way he is, but uh, we're going to need to change his body a little bit. We're going to make him upright. Ooh, look at that. I'm going to put his mouth down like that. going to make him a bit taller. Oh, he's got a weird looking head. Why, his eyes are back here down by his backside. That's not interesting. Woo -hoo. Ugh. <laughs> Looks kind of ridiculous. Do do do. Put that up there. Uh, what do? What should we go with? The Brontosaurus. Uh, let's uh scale that back just a little bit to avoid any odd appearances. Hmm. Interesting. How about the Fatella? Looks like he likes those. Or thunder calves. I don't know, I like those. Dim legs do. Uh, yeah, I think that'll do it for my cops for now. Oh, except for the these spikes. They have to stick outward, you know, because fighting. And uh, yeah, that, that's our little macops for now. And now we have so many more paint options to go through. Let's, um, let's keep it the blue theme. How does he look like this? Pretty snazzy. Hmm. Or we have a uh, different step-by-step uh, -step painting process. Oh, that's kind of cool. This coat, uh, this pattern. Let's uh, give him some light blue spots. Light blue. Thank you. Looks like he's wearing pajamas. And detail. You know what, just for the heck of it. Let's give him some red splotches on his legs. I mean, red. There we go. Look at him. Ain't he handsome? He is fit for life on the surface. Alright, I'm happy with that. Are you guys happy with that? Too bad. Anyway, <coughs> I'm sorry. But uh, my cops is ready for the surface, so uh, oh, I want to see him in his paint scheme. And then, and he swims on up. He's about to take his first steps, ladies and gentlemen. Creature stage. And I like it on the bottom here. It gives us uh, like cards for character creatures that we may encounter. Oh, that's already a weird name. So yeah, you can read those if you want. Anyway, our little macops is emerging. Oh look, he summoned a whole bunch of them. Welcome.
welcome to land, everyone. It is the beginning of a new day, and for you, a whole new strange and wondrous world. Air fills your lungs as you stretch into your limbs in your new home, dry land. The race to evolve has begun. <laughs> that just looks so weird. It looks like he's wearing some weird backpack. Here we have our little nest. Ah, and it is a beautiful morning. Oh, this guy just laid an egg. It's an egg. The first new generation born on our world. Uh, anyway, it is a beautiful morning on planet Adrius. We got some fruit here, but which we cannot eat anymore. We got a set of bones here. Which, if we break, we'll get a new part. A palm walker. I think that's a foot part. And then immediately adjacent to our nest, we have angel pods. And uh, we'll steal their skeleton. They don't get this part. Let's, uh... Let's try socializing with an alpha angel pod first. It looks like he just has a sing. We have a sing too. We're getting farther than he is. Ah, oh, he didn't do it. He's weak. We'll be back for you. And we're taking this bone while we're out of this nathog nash or whatever. But uh, this stage is considerably longer than the cell stage. It's one of the longest stages in the game. Uh, this one's doing a little dance for me. Um, look away, kids. Anyway. Hey! Not now. I'm busy. I'm narrating. Thank you. Just hide behind the map for a minute. So, uh, find new parts to evolve. That's all that really matters. And at each of these little icons, we'll gain a little bit more brain power. And then at the end, we evolve and become, uh, tribes. But I think that is a successful video for today, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, as the moon is in the sky, I don't know if it's rising or setting, over planet Adrius. I do believe this is a this is where we'll call it good for now. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, everyone. I've been Curtis Watson. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.